Fayetteville Street right now, which will transform this weekend into the annual African American Cultural Festival for the 13th year. WRL is a proud sponsor this year and to talk a little bit more about what we can expect down there this weekend. We are joined live by the chair of the big event, Grady Bussey. Thank you so much. Hey, hey thanks for joining us. Uh, for those who haven't been there before and attended the event, try to explain to them what they can get into at the African American Cultural Festival. Yeah, so the African American Cultural Festival uh, year 13 is a celebration of the African American experience. Uh, we take over downtown Raleigh, down on Fayetteville Street, you will have multiple uh, opportunities to celebrate the experience through arts and crafts, through games and through activities and through music. Uh, we really take pride in showing people and celebrating the African American experience uh, this Labor Day weekend. So it's the first time in two years that you get back into the downtown area. That's that's kind of home for this, right? How does it feel yeah. returning in person now after the pandemic? Move that event online. I see the setup going on behind you. Yeah, so we're actually uh, downtown at the Duke Energy Center. Uh, we're looking at the stage being put together. We have, uh, for the last two years, we've been hybrid and as well as we've been virtual. Uh, but now we are able to bring the festival back to downtown Raleigh, and it's going to be amazing. We're going to be on Fayetteville Street for all of our uh, free events and activities, of our arts and crafts, and, and truly a great experience. And we're actually going to be here at the Duke uh, Energy Center for Performing Arts, where we're going to actually have live music uh, performing for, with all these artists from all over the state. And it's going to be an extraordinary experience. Uh, behind me is the stage that's being built. And we look forward to serving Raleigh this weekend through the African American Cultural Festival. And we're looking at some of those pictures and some of the video from past events and just such festive garb. The colors are wonderful. What about families? Yeah. If you go down there with a family, what can you expect? Yeah, so one of the things that uh, the founding fathers of this event uh, wanted to make sure we recognize is that we have inclusive activities for families to not only bring themselves down because, you know, what I've learned and what we've always realized is that, you know, Labor Day weekend is, you know, a family affair weekend. And we wanted to make sure that they have activities for young people. Uh, and, you know, you get a chance to vend and, and buy things and, you know, buy locally as well. So it's, it's really one of these holistic experiences that, People take such a great experience and say, you know what, I'm coming back next year. Well, Kat took care of the weather for you, Grady, so uh, you know it's going to be perfect Thank you. down there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, folks, enjoy it. Get down there, uh, certainly down Fayetteville Street. Grady Bussey, thank you so much uh, for joining us this noon with the dates right here, September 3rd, 4th, 11 a.m. You see uh, when this will all start. It is such a great festival, Renee. Yeah.